Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to correctly install your <coughs> audio drivers uh, and Nehemic 2 on this MSI uh, laptop. This one, as you can see here, this is a MSI GT72 Dominator Pro. This is a 2QE. And if you go to the MSI's website, you can find their utility section here. You can go and search for the downloads, and here I already have it downloaded. It's right here, but um, you'll be able to you'll be able to see here uh, under utility it has Windows 64. Here it is, the audio driver 6.0.1 uh, with Nehemic 2.3.17, and this was released uh, May 2nd, 2017. Uh, only thing you have to do here is that um, <clears throat> if you don't follow this procedure every single time you install the Realtek audio driver you get stuck into like this installation loop where if you try to install it and you restart the computer uh, the Realtek installer tries to install itself every single time and it is really annoying so let's go here and let's extract this. All right. Sorry for all the messes. So many, uh, so many things I download all the time. Now, let's go find it here. This is the audio driver. All right. You see, it comes with the audio, dri audio driver right here, which is the Realtek, and then Nahemic 2.3.17. So, first thing you're gonna want to do is go over here to your start, and uh search for device manager it's right there All right once it pops out you're gonna go to your uh, audio which is right here audio inputs and outputs or you can go to sound so let's look for sound right there you see Realtek high definition audio if you go to audio over here you have speakers, Realtek, micro microphone, uh, Realtek. So <clears throat> instead of doing two at a time, we'll go to audio. We'll go to Realtek. Right click on that. We're going to uh, press and click on uninstall. There you go. It's going to show you this warning. You're about to uninstall the device from your system. And you're going to click on delete the driver software for this device. But uh, I forgot. Before we do that, Let's go to Nehemic, which is already right here running, and let's exit that. So, sorry about that. Remember, you gotta exit Nehemic first. So, after that happens, oh, wrong one. Uh, after that happens and it's not in your system tray anymore, you know, select uh, delete the driver software for this device, and then press OK. So. Alright, to finish removing your hardware, you must restart your computer. Do you want to restart your computer now? Very important. Click no. Because if you do restart your computer, um, Windows 10 will find a default audio driver or a, an older Realtek audio driver and you'll be stuck in the same problem. It'll try to install it and all that and you'll, you're going to have a bad day. So. Now let's go to audio driver right here. And let's search for the setup. I always like to run it as uh, administrator, so I'm going to press on run as administrator. So there you see Realtek is trying to install. Now I get to the to the good screen that says uh, welcome to install shield wizard. Let's click next. All right. It's configuring the software installation. Okay, I'm gonna, this time I am gonna press uh, restart my computer now. Okay, I will restart, so let's click finish. Let's wait for the computer to restart.
now that the computer has restarted, we're going to see here that this should come up at 67%. Realtek always does this. You install an audio driver and it puts it at 67% uh, percent by default. Here we're going to try our audio. It works really good. That's good. Uh, we're going to go to Nahemic again. We're going to exit that. And now we'll go to our control panel and uninstall Nahemic so that we can reinstall the new one. And trust me on this, it's much better to uninstall and um, you don't have to delete your preferences. Uh, it's just better to uninstall it and completely reinstall it because uh, run into problems where you try to update it and something goes wrong and then you don't have them hemic anymore so let's go to our downloads again all the way down there we go it's already right here and we're gonna install the hemic so we'll run that as an administrator the hemic 2 audio driver is saying that uh, but it's not going to install the real tech audio driver. It's just uh, the Nahemic auto driver which controls uh, the virtual surround sound and other things like that. So let's wait on that. Okay, uh, thank you for installing the Nahemic 2 audio driver. Close that. Let's uh, make sure it pops up. It hasn't yet, so let's bring it up, which is right here. You should see Nahemic pop up. That's right there. Good. So there you go. I mean, you can turn it on, apply anything you want, turn it off, do whatever it is you need. So this completes uh, this video. Um, remember, there's a correct way to install this uh, Realtek audio drivers and Nahemic. Um, you don't want to be stuck in that uh, installation loop that's just drives me crazy and it took a while to figure out but now with the Windows 10, Windows 8 and all those other operating systems that uh, by default install some type of audio driver uh, you're going to be running into that problem so uh, thank you guys for watching if you, if you have any questions please feel free to comment I'll make sure to answer as soon as I can so again, thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful and see you in the next one.